West Virginia holding their primary today. It looks like Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, though, will ultimately be the final presidential contender. He really doesn't have much, although we'll discuss a little Ted Cruz gossip later in the show. Now, here's the thing. A lot being talked about, a Hillary Elizabeth Warren dream ticket uh, could be on the horizon. In the meantime, Donald Trump, apparently, according to some scuttlebutt, down to about a half a dozen uh, potential VP uh, candidates or choices, but a lot of people still pushing for him to reach out to evangelicals, and a VP pick would be a perfect opportunity. Uh, today, in fact, he appointed his campaign manager, Corey Lewandowski, to lead the official Search. So joining me now to discuss Jillian Melcher, Christy Kunzig, and Tony Perkins. Tony, uh, I want to start with you uh, because uh, it, we heard Ted Cruz, he, he got back to the Senate today and, um, you know, more or less saying he wouldn't run third party, but, he, you know, you always leave some sort of a door open with respect to maybe being the president of the United States. How would he feel, do you think, about perhaps being the VP on the ticket? You know, I haven't spoken to him about it, but I certainly would uh, encourage him to consider it if uh, if that uh, were extended to him. I think that would be the best way to bring the party together, because if you look at it, those were the two that went the longest, the furthest distance, and uh, Ted uh, excited a base just as uh, Donald Trump has excited kind of Democratic uh, blue-collar voters, kind of the, the Reagan-type voters. And if you put the two together, I think you've got a winning coalition, which is what the Donald Trump is going to need to win. You haven't been a, a, a Donald Trump fan, and I'm not sure where you stand now if you've decided to endorse him yet. But uh, I do understand that uh, uh, having some evangelical uh, on the ticket would help sway your, your thoughts and your opinions. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm agnostic at this point uh, when it comes to Donald Trump. I mean, look, I, I think what's important is he's got to have uh, he's got to have a good VP pick that I think will assure social conservatives, and that's not just evangelicals, but it's conservative Catholics, that there's going to be somebody in his inner circle. So we don't know what Donald Trump is going to do because he doesn't have a track record in government, and that's always the best indicator of future performance. So I think that's important. I think how he's going to vet his judicial nominees. I think a, a home run for him would be. To, to select Ted and say, hey, I'm going to let him vet my judicial nominees, which is a very important issue to social conservatives and, and really a lot of Americans who are concerned about the court. And then I think what he does on the platform in Cleveland is going to be a clear indicator of whether or not he truly wants to build that broad coalition, uh, including conservatives. All right. Well, it sounds like you've got a couple of bridges then to sort of uh, to bring this whole thing back together. Uh, on the Democratic side, uh, uh, Jillian, do you think uh, 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 Hillary Clinton, Elizabeth Warren would be a dream ticket or would it be better if she reached out to Bernie? I think it's a risky move. Um, on one hand, it could really help with women voters. They don't like Hillary in particular, but they do want a female candidate, and Trump is turning women off like crazy. On the flip and, side, and though, Warren, Hillary Clinton... And so Warren has been <laughs> like an attack dog. I mean, you know, oh, yeah. I mean, she is, she's not afraid. She says anything. She'll go into a Twitter battle with them at 2 in the morning yeah. to insomnia <laughs> to stay up all night long. Yeah, I mean, they're both uh, chugging the caffeine together, I guess. But she is, you know, I think also a risky move. Bernie Sanders has pushed Hillary Clinton further left. Um, Elizabeth Warren, by all stories, would do the exact same thing, and that's going to isolate those centrist voters that really want a moderate candidate, might right. push them over to Trump. How do you see it, Christy? Because, I, you know, i got to tell you, Jillian Castro, whatever, you know, I, all these other names I hear just don't have any kind of umph with, uh, in my mind, and she needs umph on the ticket. She does, but I see her with Warren as more of a nightmare rather than a dream ticket. I just can't see that, that working out, and I do think that she would really push some voters who might say, oh, Trump's too much for me. I, would, I think she would really distance them from Clinton. Right. You know, I think one really important factor, though, is 17 million evangelical voters didn't turn out in 2012. If Trump doesn't go with an evangelical vote, uh, th this is going to be a close race. That right. might be a real vulnerability. Okay, guys, let's leave it there. 